What's going on, people? Welcome to the Flex and KG show. All right. All right. Wait, well, hang on. Oh, it's a bit cross. Oh, mate. Man, it's early. Bro. Professionalism. It's professionalism, bro. Wait. Wait. You're finished. <laughs> oh, my God. It's early, man. Wait. You're in LA. It's time. What? What? Wait. What time is it? It's just normal. It's like a, I just had breakfast, but it's like normal. But then we, I've been having these long, it's been long days, bro. <laughs> bro, you're finished. I'm not. <laughs> Guys, we we ironically though, this is a live Flexi KG show. We yeah. are live right now, yeah. six PM UK time. Oh. If you're on if you're on KG's time and it's like seven, eight o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. Ah, oh, that's no, nice. No, normal. It's, it's normal. It's proper normal time. I think it's ten o'clock or something. Is it ten o'clock? Okay, yeah, ten o'clock. If proper. you're on KG's, if you're on KG's time, welcome. If you're watching from America on that same time zone, West Coast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, KG's yeah. on that time zone setting. His eyes are bloodshot. He's 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 been up. <laughs> he's been up. I but mean, we've it's just, though, if you know I've been up to yeah, bro. I just at Disneyland. <laughs> Fuck. What are you doing at Disneyland? What yes. are you doing there? I went on all the rides. I went on everything. <laughs> And you know, because you don't got my, because I didn't have my daughter. My daughter's not gonna forgive me. I was Bro, just about to say that you didn't tell your daughter. That. Light show. We watched the light show at the end. Yeah, I can't even show her that footage. She can't part, see that part of the vlog. Bro, it was amazing. I was like, uh, when yeah, those Moana parts and my yeah, my daughter's gonna be. You want no. I turned, to, I turned to my wife and I goes, she's not gonna forgive us for this. this well, no, you just the only way you can forgive her is to say, oh, but any, you're going. Yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, there's nothing. Like that, Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you know, if you have a child, you can't go on certain rides because they're not on it. They're, they're scared. Yeah, yeah, because big boy rides. All of the rides. <laughs> anyway. We got a lot to talk about Man United wise, man. Bro, since you haven't been here last uh 48 hours, last 24 hours, I'm not gonna lie, bro. There's a bit of heat on Eric. There's there's a bit of heat on Eric. It all started um, when Gary Neville last night, I don't know if you saw the morning show. Um, no, uh, yeah, it would have been way too early for you, actually. I was going to watch you this morning. I keep yeah. Getting, that's the pro. It's the jet lag. I keep getting basically Absolutely. up at four, four three o'clock. And then I want to lie, but I'm trying to fall, fall asleep. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Basically, cut a long story short, it started from Gary Neville sort of suggesting that he feels that Ineos have uh, made up their mind on Ten Hag, whether it's to keep him or to not, they're not going to be behind the schedule. Like he believes, like they, they're not just going to get to May and you know make the wrong decisions. And like they've made up their mind what they're going to do already. It's his job. Yeah, well, that's just what he said. And then Samuel Lockhurst this morning came through and said, spoke to sources, said, Sir Jim said he's not sold on Eric. That was and and, and I said, well, look, Samuel Lockhurst. He's been in trouble already for saying the wrong thing and getting banned. So he's got to be careful what he says. So for him to come with that strength to say sources say well placed sources was the actual you know thing. He said well placed sources said that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is not sold on Eric Ten Hag. And then um, this evening, just sort of the last hour or so, um, there's been some stuff coming out about Zidane. And this is from um, Santi Auna, who's a big journalist out there, um, I believe. Is he a loser? In... Say that again. Is he a loser? Is he proper? Is well, he... no, he's followed by a lot of, you know, he's followed by Romano and followed by like a lot of credible journalists and stuff like that. You know, I'm not going to lie about that. Did Romano um, Fabrizio say some nonsense? Because that's the one thing I did hear about. Um, uh... David Ornstein follows him as well. Um, he's a guy, he's, he's, he's followed by a lot of people. He's followed by a lot of people. Um, and he says that um, Ineos's dream a uh, dream or any dream of having Zidane as manager of Man United. They are working behind the scenes to get a new manager for the club. And Jean-Claude Blanc is a huge fan of Zidane. Um, also, um, who else said it as well? No, that's the main people who said it. So there's that. Um, there's just, a, there's just, Fabrizio said today, let's get to this bit. Kishan said, um, let's get the super chat out. Kishan said, uh, Fabrizio said today they are not looking at other managers. Trust Fabrizio more than Luckhurst, who has been after Eric Ten Hag from the beginning. So there you go. There's a bit of context on what's happening. Um, shout out to Owen as well, uh, <laughs> uh, right here. Uh, newest so member of the UV, UV well, Members that's Club. That's Big the, up, Owen. 
That's the rule. Um, yeah, but the reports are from France with Jean-Claude Blanc's sort of French connection, obviously, with him being French. So this isn't, you know, this isn't like, this is, you know, oh my God, this is happening and stuff, but there has been murmurs today. What's your thoughts on Eric's I'm scared. Position and... I'm scared. Um, I'm scared for the manager purely because um, I think it's one of those weeks where, listen, if it works the way I want it to work, we win tomorrow and we win the game after. You know, like, that's the beautiful, like, Man City, we win these two games and we continue the process of, like, you know, letting play, let, letting this thing play out and finishing, right? But then what we kind of realise is the Man City thing is you know, Pep will have these guys up for it like never before. Um, I think, you know, Sir Jim's um, war cry, his rallying war cry, should probably, if I'm Pep, I play that to them at half time. Well, not by half half time. Before the game, I say, listen to what he said. He said this thing about the charge. He just wants to beat you. Look, I think we should, mm. I think we should let him know. I think we should let him know where he stands on this one. You know what I mean? And then don't forget, they still got a title race, a title charge that they got to um, think about. But they City love like hurting United. You know, all them years that we've done it to them, they can't wait. This is their. This is. Uh, this is their real, like, this is their super rivalry. They think, like, how we feel about Liverpool in this one, they feel like they have that with us. It's not the same. Like, the Liverpool one probably as a derby is like, it's like the Everton kind of thingy, Everton-Liverpool thing. You know, while that's a big game at, in the city, main when it comes down to it, this is big, but for them it means more. So we have to just be prepared because, yeah, they're going to want to turn us over and... The, the comments from the manager lets me know he's under pressure. The comments from um, in the last, not in the presser, the one that actual after the game, really you can hear it. Then after to, in the presser that I listened to this morning, early in the morning, um, again, it's just always under pressure. He's always mm. asking questions from behind the like. He's always behind. Well, he came back. He came back at Carragher today. Um. Yeah, go on. Because because uh, Carragher done a piece on our um on our tactics against yeah. Fulham on Monday Night Football, and to be honest, bro, it was bang on. There's there's the United fans that are like, oh, he's so salty just because he's a Liverpool fan. Like, open your eyes, smell the coffee. I'll send you the clip. Like, he was talking facts, bro, about how open we was, what we were doing in that Fulham game, and the alarming problems that was. And he brought up the stats of like the teams that have faced like twenty shots, sixteen shots plus mm. in is and we're up there <laughs> we're up there there's not many arsenal got zero no one's ever had 16 shots and they're going a game city had two games where that was where that was the case then there was another stat regarding um 20 shots faced i think it was just how we keep getting moved to just real real life stats real numbers yeah. not just in that fulham game and it was just brilliant but then basically the journals have said you know jamie carragher you know criticized the target tactics and he kind of pushed back because look jamie carragher at times, look, he said the Martinez thing, he had to say sorry. You know what I mean? When he does the Liverpool commentary, he's mad by us. Like, I get it. Like, he said the Casemiro thing last year, had to basically say sorry. So, I get that. But separate that in this moment, in this instance, he was right, bro. He was right with everything he said. Yeah. So, they asked him in the presser and he was like, well, some pundits are object subjective, but, you know, Jamie Carragher, you know, kind of wants to criticise. It just came across like... He didn't really want to do it. And then he was like, we, well, yes, it's true. The first half an hour against Fulham, you know, their midfield surprised us, but then we found solutions. I'm like, we didn't. Well, we, didn't. <laughs> well, we did. Wait, no, wait. It stemmed the flow. It was bleeding. Did it? We're bleeding. We stemmed the flow. Absolutely. Did we? We're bleeding, bro. <laughs> like, it was, it was going to die. It was losing blood at our, our all time rate. And I would say we stemmed, it wasn't as, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as, it's, anyway, it's Fulham. We shouldn't be bleeding against them. Is what I'm yeah. saying. But we I just don't think we didn't do anything no, until we started no. spamming shots at the goal when Leno started no, spinning them. No, we, I think we we because we started to have a moment when we looked like it was in the ascendancy, and then after we um half time came at when before the end of the half, bro. Half time. Was, oh, actually, yeah, no, yeah, I remember that because I said actually we could yeah. do half time not coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, true. that's true. There you go. For everyone yeah. else, that's, 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 no, yeah, yeah, that's true. But then in the second half, it wasn't. It was back to the same shit again. Oh, second half we was it was terrible. But <laughs> yeah. then, again, we shouldn't be bleeding like uh, pouring out against a bloody team like Fulham. Um, all disrespect to them. Yeah, you no, know, we're so we're meant to be better than them. 
Produced by Palmero says, Jamie Carragher learns a script and everyone thinks he's a genius. Our fan base is tapped. I don't understand this. I don't... Scousers piling in on us like vultures. I don't... Like, am I, miss, am I missing something? Am I... Maybe I should do a poll. The thing that you do like, is like, wait, bro, bro, listen. You see that thing that you told me about Man City? Rivalry, mate. It's rivalry. He's told me to understand rivalry and understand biggest rivals. It's rivalry. Right now, you're yeah, having... But- unabridged rivalry they don't want to hear it from you even though he was right it's like if um let's say um me and you like we're out and someone cusses your mom yeah who have to beat that person up because the i know what's going on in our home like sometimes we like bro how's my moving like that bro out outdoors we come together that's the siege mentality thing yeah but so what do we come together and do say he's he's a liar let's beat him up Mash him up and di- okay. So we ma- all right. Hang on. So we mash it. Up, we mash him up. But what about the things he said? And we that come back it. and talk to us in 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 like in on the channel like this in our community and say hey, he's right about some of those things. <laughs> you know what I mean? What the fuck? Wait, bro. You told me, bro. You've been on me about rivalry and understanding yeah. what it means, yeah. And yeah. now, like, this is they're doing what you're telling me, bro. They're saying forget everything, forget personal feelings, rivalry, bro. That's what you told me yeah. to do. So now we're in a we're now walked into a forget, yeah. you know what I mean? This is a rivalry, bro. A Liverpool man, like yeah. soon as soon as has not taken any days off of cussing Pogba, cussing yeah. everything, anything at Man United, soon as stays on our necks. Yeah, mm. why rivalry? He's logged in. And he yeah. does it. So our thing is, you're not going to tell us about us when your team was shit for 30 years. Mm. Who the hell are you lot? Where were you when you would call it? Where was your titles? Where was the defensive lines? How good were you when you were playing? Because you come running out, yeah, look at them. You know what I'm saying? Where was that, bro? You can't tell me in your career you weren't doing that job. So now you want to put up your good grass and stuff. I understand it, but you didn't achieve these things. So don't come here and talk about United when your team have been bad for 30 years. There's one Premier League title in 30 years, mate. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> so where, where's that deep analysis of them? Where's the deep analysis of, oh, how, what, Aquilani and them, man. Spearing and John Joe Shelby, Matt, the original Voldemort fam. Where were you, fam? Where was that breakdown analysis of that? And I get he was playing at the time. Doesn't matter. And that's where, that's where it is, bro. It's rivalry. Yatan, it doesn't make sense. It's ridiculous, but when we come in house, we can look over and say, "Yeah, we do face a lot of attacks, though." <laughs> Produced by Palmeira says what he said is right, but we've been saying it for months. Now someone on Sky says it, um, and it's breaking news. Uh, we spoke about this midfield for ages. Someone said it's not the message, it's the messenger. Um, who said that? Uh, Sky Sports flex, um, and Dana says uh, flex defending him uh, because he's on the Sky payroll. Oh, flex. You're compromised. You need to become a celebrity. <laughs> I, uh, I'm losing. Oh the plot, my man. god! So let me get. So let me get this straight. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. That's why I don't you understand. No, are you being? Straight? No, 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 no. I no, I get. No, I get it. But I, but at the same time, I don't. I'm not gonna move. I, I just care about, bro. I care about our team being good again. Like, so if I hear if I hear proper football talk, yeah, and the analysis is bang on. Like, I haven't got time. I ain't got time to be like Jamie Carragher said that, so I'm not going to listen. I ain't Flex. got fucking time for that. Flex. We're shit. Hold on. Hold on. We're Flex. shit. Do you not understand? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Do you Let understand me. that we're shit? Let me Do you res- understand that. Let me respond. Flex defending Carragher. <laughs> Brother. Uh. What's that? <laughs> What's that, brother? What's that, brother? <laughs> All right. Do you know what? Carragher's... Do you know what? Carragher's wrong. He's wrong. How dare he? How dare... No, 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 no. Forget this. Forget this. No, no, no. Forget this. Forget this. Forget this. Forget this. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Now, wait there. Wait there. Let me land. Let me land. Wait there. Let me land. I've learned my lesson. Thank you, community. Thank you for letting me see... No, can I just... Can I just say something, please? Can I say something? Can I say something? Uh, Thank you guys for making uh, me remember. Flex, can I leave can I say something? No, can I say something? When I do this on Arsenal, can you, I say something? You say to me, no, you're doing that thing again. Da, 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 da. All right, what should I do? What? Do, okay, what do you tell me? What you want me to do, and I'll do it. I need no. I need you to be honest and understand. Right. I need I'm trying to, to be. I'm trying to be, but you played the sound effect. I couldn't the be last, honest. 
four. You cut me off. I was trying to be. I'm trying to be honest, and you cut me off. Alex, for the last four to five weeks, you've been trying to teach me about a rivalry and understanding right. why you want Arsenal to win the league because they are all. This is not the well. same thing. This is not the right. same thing. The There's guy right. is an analyst on a football. Sh- like, why am I fucking missing the? Po- what the hell is going on here? I've just watched a piece, yeah, of seeing why my team is shit because my team is crap. Yeah, you expect me to look at that and say. I tell you what, just swap that. I tell you what, actually no, because Gail. I tell you what, I tell you what, because Gail Clichy, Gail Clichy was in the in there as well. He's ex Arsenal and City, so I'm definitely not going to listen to. I tell you what, unless it was coming from Dave Jones, who hasn't played the game, I wasn't going to listen. So you're I'll right. Hey, just, just let's see. You're right. Just you know, what, unless see. unless there's a Man United player on Monday Night Football, that's it. Fine. So you're gonna start you never walk alone then. Probably, yeah. Flex, are you compromised? I Honestly, probably support Liverpool. I support Liverpool, apparently. Flex, I support Liverpool. Don't even say that as a joke, bro. Um, so well, apparently you... I do. It's the bro, ever since they gave you that um the iPad at, at Sky and you've been walking to the you know when you do the walking transition shots, you have changed. I get we don't want to hear it from a scouser, but guys, I don't pick I don't pick the roster, I don't pick who works for them. There we go. If it there happens to be him who says it, then he says it. There we go. Did again. he not say it? Was he wrong? Yeah. Here we go again. I wish, do you know what? This is one of the moments when I wish it was actually recording our podcast because we're going to get like this. Because you're being ridiculous, Flex. Understand rivalry that you told me to understand. You've been I team- understand the rivalry. I don't want his team to win. I hate Liverpool. Have you ever heard like, the statement? Good message, um, poor messenger or something Yeah, like poor that? messenger, but it doesn't make the message false. I don't like the I'm message. doing a bit of talk. Here's the bit I don't understand. You said that we can cuss him and then we can come back and talk about the problem. Right now, we don't want to talk about the problem because of the sources come from. So we're not, so we're willing, so we're willing to forget what he said because it came from him. All right, cool. Let's move on to Forest tomorrow and let's play the same way. Flex, I think you're rattled, mate. <laughs> let's, let's play the same way. Are you all right, Flex? I'm fine. I'm not going to lie. I'm enjoying this because I've never seen you like this. And it's bare funny because deep down, you won't change your opinion. You feel I'm right. You I'm feel just about right. to tell you why I won't. And you stop me. Go on then. I care about how we're playing football. So, I care about the correct analysis. When, so, Jamie Carragher, when Jamie Carragher said Martinez was shit, I said, shut up. No, he's not. Then Martinez proved him wrong. And he said, sorry, hold that. When Martinez said that flipping... Um, when, when Jamie Carragher said, what did he say again? He said uh, about Casemiro as well. Yeah, dead, rare, 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 last year. Had to shut him up, hold that. So I said, when he said them things, he was wrong, hold that, cool. But when he then does a piece, which, by the way, you ain't even seen it. Can you do it? In, you ain't even seen it. Can you do it in a little, can you do it in a Scouse accent? No, saying? I can't. Sure. Yeah. He can't, did it. How did he say it? What did Carragher say? Say exactly how Carragher said it. So I can... Because I haven't, I haven't seen it. I don't even know what I'm, I'm defending right now. That, well, there you go then. But it doesn't matter because yeah. at least we're against the Scousers. Then, so it doesn't matter that you haven't seen it. Let's do it then. Let's do it. <laughs> let me let me, let me me scroll down to get the actual quotes. Let me let me, let me me get the actual quotes. And and then and then basically, when you hear it, just say, yeah, but it's Carragher and it's not true. Just no, say that. I, I just want to imagine it so I can really feel it. So if you could do it in... Like as close to character as possible. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting the actual uh thing. <laughs> yeah, because Ten Hag hit back at him. He's vex. If you could do it, just so I can really understand, because basically that's the problem. I'm disconnected, disjointed. No, but um, you're not. You're not going to hear what was said and like be on my side. I, I want to be on your Jamie, side. On Jamie Jamie right Carragher. Now. Jamie Carragher said oh, they've yeah. got no pace at the back and they lack legs in midfield. Sorry, can I could just stop you there? Can you do it properly? So I just can really get into. The I'm, all right, I'm going to read it. I can't do it in a Scouse accent. They've got no, they've got no legs. They've got no pace at the back, and they have they and and they lack legs in midfield. Another big problem for them is when they've got the ball. These players can't receive the ball in the positions they take up. And he's showing it's a picture of one, two, three, four, five players in a position where they can't where they can't get the ball. Okay. He then goes on to say, the big problem they've got, um, and it's been a problem for Man United all season, is the space between the back four and the midfield. How dare he say that, Scouse bastard. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, 
Um, yeah, you scouse bastard. Yeah, our midfield's fine, mate. Um, hang on, sorry. He's a scouse bastard. Scouse bastard. I don't know why I'd fucking talk about our midfield like that. Tell you what, man, we can see the holes, but fucking you can't, mate. Get out of here, mate. Uh, Gary Neville said, and good thing Gary Neville used to defend Ollie, club club legend, don't matter because he defended Ollie, so it's good. That's brilliant. Um, Gary Neville said, and we better believe this because he's Gary. Uh, he said, um, I think that Jim Ratcliffe and Sir Dave Brelsford already know whether they are going to keep Eric Ten Hag as manager next season. I can't believe that they are going to wait until May. Some people even said, um, Gary's always being negative, he's chatting shit, but I thought he's a club legend. We have to listen to him, no? He's one of us. So, I remember when Ollie, I remember when Ollie was doing shit and he was saying, uh, nah, he's doing a good job and that's uh, doing a good job. Should we listen? We should have listened. We, sh we should still have Ollie, really. We shouldn't have listened to Gary. I'm sorry, we should have listened to we should have listened to him. Rio Ferdinand when he slaps when he does the um this and he slaps. Give him the contract. Give him the how contract. many years? How many years does he give him work? the contract? So um yeah, uh here you go. Oh, here you go. Here's, here's some here you go. I've got some stats that they put up on the screen. It wasn't just it wasn't just hold on, it wasn't just Jamie Carragher, it was Dave Jones and Gail Clichy, but Gail Clichy is Arsenal and City, so don't listen to anything he says as well. Only Dave Jones, who's never played the game, is just a presenter. Only listen to him. But Dave Jones was bringing up some of these things. Since Eric Ten Hag joined the club, United have suffered 20 or more shots in a Premier League matches on 12 occasions. This season alone, United have suffered 16 or more shots during a match on 14 yeah. occasions. And the company we are keeping with the people who have done it on 14 occasions, you want to know who they are? They are Sheffield, and this is according to the Premier League. Now, the Premier League doesn't support Man United, so I don't know if we're allowed to listen to them. But according to the Premier League stats, um, that are just the stats for all teams, I don't know if, if we're allowed to listen to what the Premier League say or whether we got to sort of disregard it. I don't know. It's the, act it's the actual league that we play in, so I don't know if we're allowed. Um, Manchester United, 14 games where they've faced 16 or more shots. Sheffield United and yeah. Luton and West Ham. Arsenal have zero of that and Man City have two. Um, so these were some of the things that basically he was he was, he was was talking about basically yesterday. And he said that um, Manchester United defend like a team I've never seen before, um, is what he said. He said that. Um, um, this is Dave. Uh, no. Um, uh, Jamie Carragher said that, um, and it was it was a scathing breakdown by him and Gail Clichy. So obviously we don't like the message because of the two people. I, I accept that. Uh, if anyone was, I just need someone else to say it, not them two. Then I'll listen. Okay, finished. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. All right, cool. Um, I stand with some of the statements that have been made because we've been seeing this football. We've been saying it for weeks, mate. It's not nothing but, new. Oh, we can't. Characters just said what we've been Man United fans have been saying forever. It's not like brand. It's not uh, amazing. You don't even need like you don't even need like a journalism um, um, degree or anything like that. It's just mm. it's, clear, it's clear and obvious. Like you didn't have to play the game. You didn't have to be one of the people that says I play the game. We can see it, bro. We know we're under attack. We can see it, bro. In in how many games we said we've got no control in the midfield. Yeah, we didn't need this. Um, him coming out and saying this. We what we do need is our manager to um. To fix it and stem the flow, do you know what I'm saying? Like that's the that's the main part. Like and at a, at the moment, it's not happening. But then there, there is un, underneath all of this, there is a rule that there, there is a rivalry. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the problem. Like what the part that you're um, not understanding with the fans and why your the fans are not making sense to you is because you're like, why are you not having this type of visceral response? to someone saying the truth. It's just, in the, the day, they don't care about the guy that's saying it. But we do know we have, there's no Man United fan walking around on that, that, that meme and saying everything's fine. And like, but the, the, the house is burning. No Man United fan feels that way. Even the strongest Ten Hag Defence League um, guys, we're not saying that. Right now, we're looking at our midfield with Casemiro, Kobe, Bruno, and we're furious. Then we're going to look at the situation with um, Rashford it, it's not a happy place. This is, it's not, right now, it's not a nice feeling at United. If we did a poll and we said how many people want Ten Hag to stay on, I, I, I'll be surprised if 40% of the fan base are still with Ten Hag. Do you see what I'm saying? There's a, we're, now I, I feel like I'm in the minority of the um, people that are still like, I hope this guy can get it right. I hope he can do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's a lot of, I think he's, he's waned, he's lost a lot of trust from the fan base. 
And you know what? Like, some of their feelings are fair because Ten Hag has done some questions. He's, he's had some questionable moments, but then the, the one thing that he has to back him up is he hasn't got his first team really playing. Like, when his first team wants to play, like, how he probably wanted to use Mount. Whoa. <laughs> You've just turned into a Man United badge. Good. I love, Good. The fact that, I love the fact that I'm a United badge, though. <laughs> yeah, that's wicked. That's just, that shit just turns into... <laughs> when all their cells are right. Just... <laughs> yeah, you're hell? back, you're back, you're back. That's wicked. Predisposed. Yeah. United. United. <laughs> Anger. Anger. <laughs> but yeah, no, honestly, um, yeah. I I just think where we are at this thing, no one is happy. And it's I think we're going through this moment. It's just a it's always a rough time at United. It's always it's all we should do that poll as well. I like to see what people are saying in terms On what? of what I'll ask it. Because I think out we, Well, we said we said, well, we've done a poll this morning of do you think it? Ineos will stick with Ten Hag in the summer? Oh, and the question. Oh, what's the question? Okay, what was question the question you want to ask? People still, are people still with the manager? Are you still back in the with manager. the with Eric? Yeah, it'll question be mark. really interesting to see what they. Um, just yes and no, or do you need a middle? Just yes and no. Just yes. And are no. you still with Eric? Yes, no. Start poll. Okay, there you go. And you are you still with Eric? I want him to turn it around, but I did say, remember on the full view, I said, I don't think he'll be here in the summer. I no, don't, that's I, someone else to say. Yeah, saying, I you? want him to be. I want him to be. I so want him are, to be here, but uh, I don't think he will be. No, so you're with Eric as it stands right now. As it stands right now, yes, so, I am with him because I want him. To, I want him to succeed. I just, I just don't think he's showing enough, and I don't think he's going to show enough from now to the end of the season. And I'm, and and if that happens. I'm not against it as well. I'm not like whatever. I'm not like you. I think you said it yesterday as well. You're not in this thing of like, because I remember I said if they if they change everything, the manager, the upstairs, players, like, you know, for me, what I've got my head around is that this time is different if we sack a manager. That's what I've got my head around. I, I, I'm, I don't buy into this like we have to do something different. So... If you sat, if you sat the manager, we're doing what we always done. No, if you sat the manager and keep everything the same, i.e., it's Richard Arnold, i.e., there's no CEO, i.e., the players stay. That's doing the same thing. But clearly, what Sir Jim Ratcliffe has just told us, he ain't on that, bro. The players are going. Players are leaving, bro. We've got enough players that are leaving, right? Yeah. You know that. The manager, the, the the above. Oh my God, everyone's been dash out, bro. It's only John Murto left. He's gonna get dash out. Even another another man left today. Some man in a in a senior. I heard they even looking at Fletcher, bro. They even looking at bro. Fletcher. They're changing the whole thing. So this tells you that this smoke. This is not this is not lip service of like just gonna go for a revolving door of managers and keep everything the same and hope it changes. No, he's just talk, bro. We've just got Omar Barada from City. It's not normal. This is different, bro. Uh, no, we're why, getting Dan Ashworth. So my thing is, that if you sack the manager, yeah, you can't then go. Oh, we're doing the same thing we always do. No, we're not. We're not doing that. That that's exactly what we're not doing. So why don't you want to see Eric in this new structure? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that's what I said. I want to. I, that's what I'm saying, bro. I just said I want to see him last. I want to see him get there and yeah. be in this new structure. But I don't think he will. And the reason why I don't think he will is because when I look at me personally, call me pessimistic. This is how I genuinely feel. I feel mm. we're going to go out of the FA Cup tomorrow. And just now, breaking news: Eric Ten Hag tells Man MUTV that Harry Maguire will miss tomorrow's game, and both Bruno Fernandez and Rafael Varane are doubts. And Bruno's never missed a game through injury. Some people may say it's a good, a good thing that Bruno. Um, he said Harry Maguire will not be available. Bruno is doubtful. Also, Rafa is doubtful. Um, we have to watch and see what Bro, we will have. Red Bear, fam. This is like absolutely. What's absolutely? That? I feel like that when you know when we're talking about the, the Antonio context in this situation. Big up, little Yoda. That's his thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, in this situation, we're not looking at it because it, there's there's players that. Bro, he's lost a lot of the team and a lot of what he wanted to do. I understand that um, Mount, he, when he saw him sign Mount, he was so excited about him. He said, they're going to play for me, yeah? They're going to do this. Like, he really wanted to play Mount, really had a plan for Martinez, had a plan for Kobe, and then all of these players are broken down. Sure, not worked. Malassia, not worked. Like, his, his key signings, even um, Hoyland, not worked. Back the hell out of Martial. We uh, to to the pundits being mad at him, not pundits, journalists saying, "Why do you keep backing this guy?" And it's not worked. There's so many. So my thing is, 
Well, listen, you, one the, one of the biggest uh, um, flops, faux pas that he's made is signing Anthony for all the money he's, he's spent on him. And he can't look away from that. He's done that. But, no, manage, but every manager makes mistakes. Manages, every manager, every manager makes mistakes. Every manager, yeah. like, when um, Pep was spending looking for a left back and right back, that weren't cheap. There were so many um, people that he brought in and defenders. Pep was allowed to make mistakes, even when John Stones was kind of mistaken and it worked out and stuff. But then he's just gone in this long journey. I think for um, I think when you make a mistake at Man United, it's it's just almost feels more unforgivable because we don't have anything else. But my thing is, if we can back him through this moment and give him better players, we'd play a better way. Like you can tell what he wants to do. These lot can't do it. There's a reason when you like when you watch the way Rashford plays football, it is confusing. When you watch the way Bruno's now playing football, it is even more confusing. And when you like the fact that we know, like, no disrespect to Maguire, because I think he's been quite good since his since him like losing the armband and stuff. But then Maguire has to do things to save himself in the game. So he has to kind of get touched tight. But if he mistimes it, it is over, bro. You're running in. Yeah, he can't play. He can't play. But then, but then this is what I'm saying though. Like, why I think personally. We say that Ten Hag doesn't have the players to play the way he wants to play, right? Mm -hmm. I, I I accept that, right? Yeah. But then he also that we also don't have the players for the tactical setup of what we're trying to do. It doesn't make sense, bro. Like when you when That's you look when you look when when you look at what we're trying to do in midfield and go man for man across the pitch and defend really high. Well, we don't have the players for that. Harry Maguire's slow, so why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? Why are you making all of the players go high and leaving a big gap? Why? Can someone tell me why then? We don't have the players for that, I was told. So why are you then trying to press high with slow centre-backs? Because I want to still play. I want to bring my football to the club. I want to play my way, right? Shouldn't I still try to, shouldn't I still try to be myself? Even if it's like, I want you lot to play this way. I've been trying to build. You lot saying it's been 18 months and I haven't started. Last year was super pragmatic. And it kind of, we got through. Fred McTominay, it was one of those ones. And we did well, yeah? This season, I actually want to play my style of football. And that's why I brought in the Onanas and all these other players. But it's not what now. I'm void with injuries. Because let's not say, like, in because we've been in, injury ravaged, that is hurting us. And other teams are allowed to say, hey, we got injury. I remember when um, City lost Rodri. And they were like, until he comes back, we can't expect to be in a title race. And it was fine. That's one player. Yes, De Bruyne, but De Bruyne is always in and out. But they yeah. was like, Rodri is key for how we need to move going forward. They, they they identified with that player, we can win title, we can win the Champions League. Without him, it gets nuts. Well, we've lost more than... We've lost the, everything, pretty much. When I look at Martinez, we know how important he is. When we look at... Right now, we're playing Lindelof as a left-back, and he can't even do the job. And we know how important Shaw's been. So I'm not... But isn't that the problem? Thinking that Shaw's the answer and investing the stocks into him. They give him a new deal. But in this again, there's ain't there. That's what I'm saying. I think now Ten Hag is the brunt for every bad decision that Man United. I'm not saying you're saying this, but mm. he's gonna face the brunt of a lot of bad decisions at this club. He there's there's things that's happened at this club before he got here. Now his decision is Anthony. He can't do nothing about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. His decision, Anthony. Some people say Onana, but I think Onana's kind of Onana's doing all right. His decision right. was Ericsson. One I mean, year later, it's done. Or well, Ericsson has a short term Ericsson. free. His Ericsson. decision. His decision was Frankie De Jong, but we had to get, but we got that's ended up with Casemiro. And that's His the decision was Mason Mount, but he's been injured. Fair play. Yeah. Malassia was a backup to Shaw. Did okay last year, but then he's been injured all this year. Um, Rasmus Hoyland, we can see he's a hit. That's a good decision. That's no problem. It's a good decision. Um, who else? Amrabat, he's going to go back. It's just not. It's not it. That loan ain't worked. Yeah, it's, it's not worked. Alone, but I, can you really give him? Is there? Is can he get in trouble for the Ericsson thing? Because Ericsson, a club like no, nah, it's a freebie. It's a freebie. Yeah, Ericsson on a freebie is like shit. Was is okay, He's you know? Um, and he helped. And these guys helped meet the mark of where we need to be before. But then again, there's other players. The Casemiro one. He never wanted Casemiro from the beginning. He wanted, um, you knew who he wanted. It was mm. Frankie De Jong. Frankie De Jong didn't want us. I mean, he couldn't even sell the project to him. Let me, let me, let me get all these super chats out here because right. everyone, everyone's getting involved and rightly so. And, and this is what it's been like. Loads of, you know, and this is where it gets like, okay, look, we're messing about earlier when I'm being pedantic and saying, oh, about the Carragher thing. Like, you lot know every opinion's welcome here in all honesty. But like, it does get very, 
like, oh, if you think this about the manager, you're a clown. I was saying this earlier this morning, like to Owen and everyone was agreeing in the chat. It's like, you're not allowed to have different opinions about the manager. As soon as you do, people just get in their feels and it's, it's just it's ridiculous. Red Baron says, um, how long will it take us um, for us to be Zidane out? I bet two years. Deserby one year. I didn't even mention that to you as well. deserby has been mentioned as well. In your yes. like him. Yeah. Maybe if we get Ancelotti, it might be a free year. Um, I'm taking bets. Um, 10 lost hogs. Says, guys, I think Deserby is our manager next season. Um, Lamar says, um, this US tour, we are ready for you, man. Big parties. Yes, Lamar, big up, man. Oh, well, I'm going to be out there, 100%. Um, Oluwudu, 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 uh says, um, even the five top signings next season, injuries aren't an excuse. Eric Ten Hag must adapt. Key KPIs. Adaptability, consistent wins, no injury. Oh, that excuses. can't be on the map. That can't. That the players that are bought in. That's a Dan Ashworth thing now. Surely I don't want. To yeah, hear yeah, yeah. But but also though he was saying you can't just. I think I think Ten Hag even said in the press of the last one before he was like, can't just buy the manager has to be involved in you know the players or no. Jim Ratcliffe was like, still can't just give the guy players and say you must play these players. It has to be in tandem. So ten, let's not because now what we can't do is I like Ten Hag's not going to be involved in any former player that comes and like he just gets that's played. Done Chelsea, for. that's what they did at Chelsea. Well, we're not Chelsea. Now I'm just we're saying that's what they've done at Chelsea. They, and they, look how shit it is. It's disgusting. Exactly. Red Baron says, um, "Remember how Carragher was correct on Martinez? Oh wait, let's not big up Carragher. Um, he has popped up his head uh, when we look our most damning. But I see, and this is what again, I, I just think we're just." We're just unwilling to hear stuff that's just right in front. For me personally, something I can see that's right in front of my face, regardless of who makes it, I'm I I have the ability to separate the rivalry from the truth. Like for just like I said, when he got Martinez wrong, he got Martinez wrong. He came out and said, "Sorry, good, good. You said he was too small, good." And I was cussing him then as well when he said about Casemiro, whatever it is, good. Yeah, you got that wrong. But like just because he's done that, like. That means he's now not right about so we so what so is he not right about the gaping hole in the midfield? Is no. he not right about trying to press high when our players are too slow? Is he wrong? So, can someone just say yes or no? Forget about who this messenger bullshit no, is. Right. Is he right or is he wrong? Right. So then it doesn't matter what he said about Martin. Is it that, is he right about this? What we're talking about now? Yes or no? It, remember, there's that thing. Yes, and then after it's just the bro. I hear what you're talking about. He's right. Absolutely. Well, I just feel like some people are moving like the guy's wrong. But, but there's a big caveat there, as you said to me before, rivalry. So there's some fans. Yeah, but that... wanting them to win is not the same as listening to the truth. That's different. I hear it, I hear it but sometimes it's not even the same, bro. I'm saying that sometimes is like you're not even a like a proper critic. Even that stuff that you said about Bruno in that game, and I'm not saying yeah they wanted to come off. Like, the, these Sky Sports, these Liverpool um, pundits have been on us for years. I it's, agree. Steve, I agree. So there's times where there's times when you can't trust them because it's like I agree with that. Throw them out as a witness. Are you with me? So like I agree with that. But there's also that's what I'm saying. I can separate. There's also times where I could look at it and say, yes. well, everything that's gone on, he's fucking right about this. He is. What's he wrong is. with that? I'm not fighting it. I'm not fighting it. But I'm just saying that some people you can understand. People are saying, well, let, bro, did, like. Well done to you, Sherlock. This ain't even a... Well, cool, but that's the topic of Monday. What happened? Monday no. Night Football was only a reflection of what happened on Saturday. And yeah. what happened on Saturday? What do you want to do? Play a play a pick, play a video of, of a game that didn't happen on Saturday. Let's let's rerun the game of when we beat Wolves then and talk about that. That's not what happened on Saturday. <laughs> what you, you I, I hear flex. Here, I don't get it. Here's Man United's latest performance. This is what happened. I'm with you, Flex. <laughs> Let's not let's talk about what didn't happen in the game then. I'm with you, but you have to understand as you I, I get it, I get it. I just don't agree. Oh me, <laughs> yeah. After and in the end, rivalry trumps everything. That's what you said to me. Forget personal things, forget how you feel. Rivalry is key. That's what you told me, and I'm trying to listen to it. And that's why I'm saying, listen, ask you're being too, I think you're being too rigid with that. Wanting somebody to win direct trophies. Is completely different to somebody who don't play anymore, who does hate Man United because he is Liverpool and we hate him, but he's doing his job talking about what we all saw with our own eyes on Saturday. Wait, do you right. know what's funny as well? You know, people think I'm not saying that. I hear what you say. I've said I agree with Carragher. If anyone says I don't miss the point, I agree with Carragher. I'm just telling you that there's some people in the chat yeah. who are saying rivalry above that. So, Fair enough. You know cool. So don't, but what I'm saying, all right, and that's fine. But don't say to me then that I shouldn't be thinking like, because then that's just crazy then, isn't it? 
Just like there's some people in the chat that say, nope, I'm not listening to him because that is Liverpool and I don't trust his intentions. So I'm not listening to him. Rivalry over everything. Cool if you want to think that. But for people who can see what is wrong with our team and don't mind someone saying it just because they've said other things, then let them people live too as well then. That's what I'm saying. That's my message. Um, uh, Danny says uh, Flex is triggered. <laughs> um, Jag33 says, Flex, drop a like. My goals ain't valued, please. Yeah, if I had it on the soundboard, I would drop that. I would drop that. Nah, KG, hit him with the... Ooh, a Flex rattled. He did that. I did. I did, he I did, did that. Um, Red Baron, these are ones from earlier. Um, Sky Sports support Liverpool. You're right. Um, says Red Baron. Antonio says, I don't mind hearing from ex-rival players as long as they're not biased like Carragher. Plus, we already knew this. Um, enough, uh, LOL. It's nothing new. Do you know what? This is it. This that's the bit I don't. That's the bit I don't get. Hold on, head this, head this. You see now, Gary Neville was actually praising Arsenal. They don't want to hear it. There's no Arsenal fan saying, "Yeah, Gary Neville, like finally you." They don't want to hear it from you. You're a shit messenger. We didn't like how you spoke about us before. We're holding on to that rivalry. Are you with me? He's even he. There's times when Gary Neville can't stop the glazing. He's going crazy. Yeah, five, seven, seven, eight, nine games. Yeah, he's apologized to the Arsenal faithful. They're still like Gary Neville, go and sit down. Yeah, but his thing, but his thing, but his thing was proved right every time. He didn't have to apologize because the it, thing it, that he no, predicted, like, he said, he said that you man ain't got enough to win a title. I yeah. think City's gonna win it. And yeah. what happened? City won the league. Arsenal. Now he's saying, I believe Arsenal can win the league. Arsenal, they like it. They, even when he was right, they didn't like it. They told him to, they 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 hate him for being right. He was right when he said it. Six, seven, eight, nine games. He said, "Bro, them." He told the bro. He told the truth, just like characters telling the truth. Yeah, and they said, "Piss off, do one." Even yeah. after it, and now he's even now saying good things. We hate the messenger rivalry. It's fun. all right, cool. So that's what I'm saying. So fair enough. Um, piss off, do one. But like you said, we still have to come back here and talk about it. Yeah, and we are. So and it's true. So that's what I don't get. Like, why are we not? Why are we pretending like it's not true? But you, we're you so know. caught up on the messenger that we're hardly willing to talk about the act. We're going. We already know this. So what, what, Monday for Monday night football was about what last what last just happened. And if the same problem keeps happening, that's what we have to talk about. We may as well shut down the channel then because we already know we're shit. Why do you have to always shut down the channel, bro? Because <laughs> <laughs> we already know. We're basically saying oh, things that we're. Oh, no, no, this is no. Hear me out. 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 KG, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. If there are things that we already know, yeah, Wait, I ain't you gonna should shut down the channel. Gonna, I ain't gonna be <laughs> this guy loves to shut down the channel. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying this, yeah. I'm saying, if we're going to bring up things that we've already heard, yeah, that we already know about our team, let's shut down the channel. Because what are we talking about? Wait, I need to get KG, my... do we play good football now? No, no Flex, no. but we haven't played good football for time. No, we know I... we don't play good football. Shut I'm, down the channel. I'm going to kill it my Bluetooth for the thing, because... <laughs> We need to. I need to call in. Um, and I'm gonna call in. Um, Owen. This is Owen's here. Owen's right here. Oh, no, we can bring him in right now. No, no he's in. He's in the thing. Right. He's in the. He's here oh, now, right now. Uh, bring Owen. Him. Owen, come in. Owen, bring yourself in. He's right. Yes. Here. Yeah. 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 Let's well, change. Well, let's well, change well. this. Let's let's just for for argument's sake. Let's just oh, yeah. do that. Why does yeah. he? Why does he always want to shut down the? My thing is, it's always the channel. But, that but, but but this is the weird thing with this KG because. And then now it's going to seem like, oh, yeah, you're kissing up to all that kind of stuff. But I agree. <laughs> I agree with the, the stuff of like, why are we so focused on who said it? Like we're focusing on the messenger as opposed to the message. And the, and the, the weird response to this is, oh, it's good. Yeah, I already know. Imagine, but, but, but mate, your house is on fire. I don't know. So what? Toasty. Yeah, but, but you'd be like, you'd be like, you'd be like, what? Your house is on fire. That's a problem. All the Man United fans recognize that. They, they realize the house is on fire. There's no Man United fan that's walking around saying it's lovely here. So why is oh, that? But, but, so, but, so, so, yeah, so, so, but, so the, we're angry that yeah, it's been then. said that we already know. We'd rather no one say it. They, is that no, what we kind of, is, I mean, is that the suggestion? We'd rather Jamie Carragher didn't say that because we already know it's not new information. But when there is new information yeah. about stuff like maybe inside the club, we then go, ah, bullshit. I don't care. I don't like it. This is this is the weird this is the weird so, era that so, we're in where it's like it's only the truth if if we think if we if we agree with it if it's something we disagree with then it's bullshit or if we if we agree with it but we don't like it so I know so what the matter so what you're saying right now is yeah so you're saying 
So you're saying we should shut down the channel? <laughs> my I would prefer we didn't. You know, I would. I have. A, you know. I understand flex. I understand where you are at. Yeah. I'm with. I don't know how many times I can say because even in the chat, people are like KG don't get it. I'm like, wait, guys. What do you mean the chat saying you don't get it, bro? The chat think I, I'm a scouser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's in heavy. That's in heavy for you there. But then they even say they it. said I'm compromised, bro. They said I'm compromised. <laughs> Because there's a gaping hole in my midfield, I'm like, I agree with that. I'm compromised. Well, then I'm going to stay compromised because we're shit. But <laughs> this is, I love this as well. I love this as well. So you'll say, you're, so you'll say that and it'll be like, flex deep down. He just wants 10 Argo. He just wants 10 Argo. KG, you'll say the opposite and they'll go, KG's just getting trying to get that access. KG's trying to get that access. That's what it is. There's always something. There, this is what I mean. There's always like this weird undertone. Very thin. If Flex is, nah, he just wants to keep Sky Sports happy. KG, he just wants those press conferences, mate. That's what he wants. <laughs> SLD said, I've seen Flex in the Luis Suarez kit. <laughs> the internet is unrivaled. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I, are we good? Like, what's going on? Do you know what? This, do you know? Oh, as, my look, as, we haven't even spoken about Zidane. No, we yeah. haven't had a chance to because we, I didn't even finished reading the super chat. There's 26 of them. <laughs> I you, haven't talked, you haven't even talked about Zidane. I went no. away, was on the phone to my dad and came back. I thought, oh, no, bro, we it. didn't get no. Oh, you've been, you need to rewind and see what's happened here. I've well, lost my shit. Hey, listen, Owen, he will <laughs> not let it go. He won't. He's like me when you, you know, when you're trying to make me support Arsenal. And I was like, and he's like, rivalry, everything's important. Come on, just understand. KG tried to say, it's the same thing like when you tried to make me support the rivals. Remember, right? I said, wanting your rivals to win trophies versus someone who don't play football anymore is doing analysis on our last game. It's completely different. I so just, oh, this is so this is interesting one then, KG. Gail Cleachy was there doing it as well. Oh, I said that, Aaron, I said it. I said he played for Man City and Arsenal, so we can't listen. Matter. We can't listen matter. to him. Only Dave Jones has never played football but, for us. But, but, and, this, and, and yeah, and this is the weird one. So when Gary Neville was saying that about Ten Hag as well, yes. decision made. Oh, and Oli, and Oli. Then what's the response to that one? What's that? Are you asking me? Oh, here we yeah. go. Oh, here we yeah. go. Wait, go on. Yeah. Guys, I'm innocent in all of this. Oh, shut up. Shut up, innocent. I am innocent. Well, you're not innocent as well, Flex. You need to stop with this kind of dramatic, <laughs> shut everything down. That's I'm what I'm saying. You know I what I mean? Well, no, you know, I've to... created a community where we can be honest, and that's in my feelings. Right, yeah, and you keep, feelings... Threatening to, you keep threatening to pull the plug on the community <laughs> in, every five in, seconds. In my... <laughs> <It's closer. laughs> this community is great. I'll shut it down. Yeah. In, my, is... in my feelings, that's how they make me feel. Oh, that's yeah. how they make me feel. I bought. I asked you to come on the show, yeah, purely because Flex is being like he's telling everyone we should respect everyone's values and everyone's opinions, yeah, and it should be a safe space for everyone. Then he always wants to shut the channel down. So he doesn't want the safe space to be safe, he, unless, no. we, unless I we, said based on what everybody's I'm, saying, we may as well shut yeah. it down. And then I, I, what I said was, what I actually said was, was well, we're talking about things we already know. We're talking about our football's bad. Oh, the manager might be in, you know, in the We already know all this, so we may as well not talk about it. May as well shut the channel down. Flex won't move no, on. We'll about it. His plan is to go to Sky and he, he's using the shut the channel down as a little, you know, when people want to get out of a relationship and they just want to be on Sky forever. And this is, it'll make himself. Well, more... if you think that, I really can't help you because I've made it very clear what my feelings are versus what they're not. And you still choose to ignore them. So I, I don't mean, know what you want you... to do. Wait, Flex. You have... you, what no, do you want me you to have... say? Wait, wait, Flex, what do you want me to say? To no, because I did this and you said, don't do that. I said, what do you want me to believe? And I believe it. I said, Wait, Flex, what do you want me to say? I promise you, I'll say it with hand. No, up. it's fine. I don't want you to say anything. I want you to say what you want to say. Let's just shut the channel down. <laughs> Let's not shut the channel down. I'll get rid of both of you. I'll do the show on my own. Guys, I'm really joking. Of course, the channel is not going to shut down. But you lot are pricks, though. Maybe what we do need... <laughs> We need a flex statement. We need a flex statement. We need a, we need a, we need a flex statement. That's what we need. Flex, flex statement with the eyebrow like his Ancelotti. <laughs> Everyone just, I'm like, wait, I can't believe this has caused so much outrage. I honestly thought more people would be like, yeah, I mean, I just can't believe I'm we're playing right. in this way. Like, I think it's so bad, the stats. I just, I really thought we talked, but really we're talking about bloody Jamie Carragher. I have a question though. I have a question though with, with this, KG. Would, would you say that there has been progress under Ten Hag? This season, no, it's been bad. It's been really bad. There's the only thing I can say that's been good. This season, the only thing I can say that's been good is... I don't know. Would you say... Would you, would, would you say he's sacking himself? I thought he turned it round. I've said it before. <coughs> would you say he's sacking himself? I've said it before, but I, I think he's turning yes, it around. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have. 
<laughs> but then that's when he was playing McTominay. See, it's oh, true. Even start. Yeah. It's that's the McTominay lip pole. Does this McTominay. mean it came towards Arsenal? What does this mean then? What does there this mean? Go. But what this is not mean? right. Not doing any end of the day. I've been played. <laughs> Why is it not right? No, I'm fine anyway. I'm good. Wait, Today, I need to, sorry, wait. I need to sorry, um, one second. I need to get these, I need to get these out. There's so many. Right. There's now 30, bro. People wait, are having their say. Can we can say this year? Last week you did this to me and I hated it. And this week seeing you in this position has been a revelation for me. PLJ oh, yeah. says flex hella sassy. Um, Kings of the City, Birmingham coming. Um uh Chief says uh this uh, this is an issue um, of Man United fans versus Eric Ten Hag stands by KG. Um, Chalaboy comment says, do we think Omar already has an opinion on Eric Ten Hag? Pep probably gave uh, City an evaluation of Eric Ten Hag when he joined us. Omar may push to keep him if he rates him. Don't trust him. He's City manager. Rival. Can't do that. Can't trust other people's opinions. What? How dare we? Owen. It makes too much logical sense to say stuff like that. Don't say Thank that. You Thank you very much. I'm out. Daniel says, uh, if we <laughs> uh if we if we see if we sit back at home, the media will kill him. True. We have to back our guy. Uh Keegan says, uh, you can see the progress uh, when his first pick player are are fielded, question mark. Not having his players and not having squad depth have hurt us this season. Um RK says Bruno Maguire and Varane out for tomorrow. Well, yeah, it was Bruno and Varane are a doubt, and Maguire is actually out. So we have to wait and see on the other two. Bruno's never missed a game through injury. Kisha says, KG, bang on. Look at City's record without Rodri. Martinez is the same importance for us and affects the way we play. But we keep getting one player. Um, uh, one player doesn't make that level of difference. Owen, I'm sorry, was Martinez? This is what I don't get as well. Like, we lost fucking 7-0. When Martinez was playing and fuck it, and he was getting spun around by, fit. we've lost some bad, bad games with our first. Let's not act like every time our first teams played, we've played amazing football. Sure, and one big, like and, you can't and say also, that. And also, we can't. We're, we're comparing Martinez to to, to flipping Rodri's <laughs> impact. Wait. We can't also suggest that if we don't have Lissandro Martinez, we lose at home to Fulham. No, but guys, come on. There's, I'm saying that there's and Brentford uh, and Crystal Palace. Players. Come on, get there's real. That's players. smell some coffee, KG. That's crazy. That's There's crazy. Players, flex. I'm just saying, some players help with standards and how players. I agree with that on the pitch, and sometimes they're a bit more locked in, and they won't allow other teams to be. You know, you see that player that's running around and giving it his all. You think I've yeah. got to play better. You see the high fives. It's it's a shame that it's taking what? one player. Wait, flex. Can I respond? It's a shame <laughs> that there's um when he's not there. The high fives, the intensity in defending, the cutbacks, and everyone being locked in. It's a shame that you say we went up for it in these games. When he's there, they're up for it. I don't know why that is. That's a mentality problem thingy, but he gives them something. I can't ask. I, it's disgusting that they need that something, but we do see a big difference of he's there, everyone enjoying it. Right. I agree. It. I agree. But are you telling me then that Lissandro Martinez, Martinez is injured, let's end the season, shut down the channel? That's what Flex gonna do. That's what Flex. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we really doing that? Are we? Re are we really? Uh, can I just? Can I just? Can I just get a yes? Or, are we really gonna do this? Are we about to say that the reason why we've been playing so bad, and the reason why we're facing sixty shots, is because Martinez has not been there? No, but I'm saying this. It, it makes a difference to players that are locked in. Like, sure, we. I'm. We, we've lost more than Martinez, bro. Let's not act like there's not. We've lost more, bro. We we have one striker, and now bro, we've been the playing shit since we won the Carabao Cup when everyone was still fit. But, no, but I'm Last saying February when we had that when we had our uh, when we had our team that we, for the what um for three games we was able to pick the same team, the same strong um side. We haven't been able to do that. I get that, bro. But how comes other managers can do it then? Well, this was the stat. This was, why, this was why, the interesting why? stat. This was How? the stat. So um, it was faced 20 plus shots in Premier League games. Now, Eric, Eric Ten Hag has had a, a total of 64 Premier League games during his time at Manchester United. During that time, he's faced had a game where we've faced 20 plus shots 12 times. That's an average of 5.3 games. So every five games, we're facing 20 plus shots. For comparison, the averages um, for, say, Arsenal, Guardiola, Klopp, it's every 23 games that that's happened for Arteta. It's every 73 games for Guardiola. It's every 161 games. Based in Jurgen Klopp's tenure, 322 games. He's only had two games 
where he's faced 20 plus shots in a game. In Guardiola's tenure, it's only happened four times. In Arteta's tenure, it's only happened seven times. Already in Ten Hag's tenure, it's happened 12 times. And that's with our best players. It's mental. It's I, but I honestly feel like I'm not saying but it's that because Martinez isn't here. No, but it's not just. But then that's you're doing the thing that everyone else would do. Like when you're not like you're not looking at that. I'm just saying some of the factors injuries is our our factor. I I, I know for um, Eddie Howe in Newcastle injuries are playing a factor in the season he's having. It's not you don't want to. They, they don't want to look like that. Injuries, I don't think we're separate. But, but, that's, but, that, but, that, but that's the, sta- that's the that. stat that's being that's the stat that's being brought up there, isn't it? Though that like Jurgen Klopp has had injuries throughout his 322 games he's had in the Premier I mean, League, no, but, but then, it's only happened to him twice. So that would suggest that's that's a, that's a style issue. But then no, but there's a style. Uh, Arteta, Arsenal have been rubbish during his time. Yeah, it's only yeah. happened to him seven times. But I would say time. that I would say that even when we do these like um, these analysis of what you call it players that we want to play. There's other things that are going, there's other things affecting us. The fact that Bruno is playing shit is a problem. We have to, so while you got injuries, the players that he was saving you last season are not doing their jobs anymore. Rashford is missing. Rashford, I don't think people are denying that. Saying, so people people you, aren't denying you, that. I'm not, just saying, I'm not just saying, I'm saying there's an attitude. You know the thing about what you call it? You There's a thing about, well, why, why is it after we score a goal, we just leak one? There's an attitude issue. There's a problem with these players. There's a mentality issue that we all see. And some players, we're noticing that some of these players are lacking the mentality. So now, if you hear what I'm saying and think, oh, I'm saying I'm using it as a blanket for everything, I can't. I'm telling you I don't that. disagree with you. No one's, but no one's, but no one's, but no one's no, saying I, 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 I think when we bring up, I think when we bring up Ten Hag, what I've, what I've seen is, right, and which is what I'm not afraid to do anymore in terms of looking at every single area of blame. Yeah. I'm Me personally, and it could come across like, Oh, you just want Ten Hag out now, Flex. I've said to you, I don't. I want him to. I want him to be able to last. I've said it to you. You asked me directly early on in the show for it. I want him to do it. I just don't think he's going to. Right? Um, I've just met me personally. This is where I'm at, so people know what my thinking is. Yeah, yeah? I'm not in the position. I'm not in that space anymore. Whereby, as soon as we mention like Ten Hag's role in like why things are going wrong, there's just I feel like there's this immediate pivot. There's this immediate of like. The injuries order or the this or the that. No, why can't why why is it not okay to just like talk okay. about the wrong things that he's doing of the way he's okay. setting us up? Why can't we do okay. that? I don't get time, it. In the times that we've spoken, I've called when I've said something about the manager, then we get the thumbnails coming up saying, what do you call it? I'm not questioning the manager. I've said I've spoken about the manager at many a times, but then and this is the thing, you lot are telling me to be objective, but I'm saying, bro, on the flip side, on the other side, there is no objectivity. Because I'm saying, bro, there's there's a no, lot there has to be because injuries do you're right about the things you say. Injuries, I'm saying matter. injuries matter, the mentality of the players matter, the what's been built in the past, and these players that have been here for so many years that have been rubbish for years, it matters. There's a there's a thing about all these players that have come here. And I'm saying, like, Ten Hag could be another manager that are probably going to fail at Man United. But guess what? The next one is going to as well. Hopefully, we trust what Why? This is but this Why? is what I said, though, Why? about it's not Why? the same. I hope no, I'm saying, because I think, as a Man United fan base, we can't grit, we can't grit our teams and get through the hard times in the tough periods. We, we, we Obviously, we have this expectation we must win every game, this, that, and the other. But this is going to take a longer time to fix. So we're not we're not there yet. So then we look at other teams and we say, well, their, t- their club's done it in um, um, two, two or six months. Why can't we be like them? Well, we're not them. We don't have... But, then, we, but then you also then, get, then you say, KG, you, the, the argument against that is that because those other places have a structure that can, that can work. And this is why people are pointing out that if you were to get rid of the manager at the end of the season, it's not like in times gone past. Because to your point, if you just got rid of the manager and kept everything else the same, that mm-hmm. is the same cycle. That's keeping the same players. That's keeping the same people above you. That's you are expecting. You are expecting yeah, yeah. different things. But that's not the case, is it? Because no, people I... above are changing. And also, when you say, and this is kind of to Flex's point, I think as well. And I don't get this. It's the immediate like. If you go, oh, I tell you what, Ten Hag setup isn't very good. They go, well, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, this, that, and the other. You go, I, I totally agree. I'm, but I'm not talking about them at the moment. But it's that initial. Why can't it be a collective blame? Why can't it? Why does it have it's to? It's just be this immediate pivot, no, bro. I, mean, I just don't get it. No, but it's not. Um, that's what I'm saying right now. It's not collective because if I tell you that it's collective, I'm saying it's collective. Mm. But I get told I'm just a Ten Hag supporter. I'm not, nah, I'm not. I don't know. I don't I'm think that. No, no, but, that. But, that's, but you, but you, but you will sound like that if when you say 
like, oh, the manager, and then your immediate response is Bruno Fernandes, Marcus no, Rashford. But I, I think, People go, yeah, but we're not talking about I, that. I, I think I think you have a duty. I think if, let's say, for instance, um, well, you two are my guys, and then I have a, like, there's a duty that I expect from you guys because we're in this together. Like, I have put my arm around you. I said, listen, you, new contract for you. I said to what you call it, Flex, this is how we're going to do it. Now, if I see people dropping clangers of performances, I'm not expecting that from you, should. I should look over to you guys and say, those are the two guys I trust in here. Those are my, I gave you the captain's armband. I gave you a six-year deal. You're the highest paid player at the club. You two have been my biggest letdowns in this whole thing. And I, and people um, cuss me for lo- supporting you lot too much. People say, oh, um, that's his best friend. He won't take him off. He'll put him on the left, he'll put him on the right. I've, he's given a lot for to get more from these two guys. And they're le- they've left him in a lurch for me. So I don't think, I think it's unacceptable how Rash is walking around. I think unacceptable how Bruno's walking around. I totally agree. Uh, well, what's been the punishment? I totally agree. No, but this is this is it. This is mad. But then it doesn't give no one else. It doesn't give the manager a blanket to say because I still think in the Fulham game, change the shape, mate. This ain't working anymore. Whatever how we how we're playing right now, it doesn't work. Change the shape. Right now, we can't play like this no more. Right. We have to like change it all. But then I think I don't and know. Then you have to then you have to accept KG if he doesn't and he refuses to change, and he loses football matches, he's going to get the sack because it's a results business and they're changing stuff. And he can't, and he has himself partially to blame in that instance because ultimately he has the power to make those decisions in the match. If you don't make those decisions, you then can't get angry at the players you know aren't good enough and you're asking to do things you know they can't do. You can be angry that they're bad and they're letting you down, but you've also then got to hold yourself accountable and go, I should have done more in the game. I made a mistake. When do we as fans hold ourselves accountable though too because it like it or not whatever's going to happen is going to happen in it are we going to hold ourselves accountable as fans to say this is not an easy overnight fix that's the that's the thing is it are we gonna if let's say they change the, they change their mind does there be let's say the Zerbi comes in the Zerbi when he loses he pro, he gets i'm spanked. not even a massive fan of that one as well let's yeah. say that happens let's say the Zerbi comes in we have the structure mm. everything's there and this that and the other but we have bad games like the Zerbi has in the league is everyone going to be able to say, you know what? We're getting, it's a teething issue. It's going to happen. Mm. Or is it going to be seven months? I haven't seen the style of play. What is this rubbish? Uh, we're supposed to be Omar Barak. Because all it'll go back to is... Yeah, we still got to take time. We still have to take time. You're right. Yeah, you're saying, so time. when I want to know what is the, what is, what's the expectation on the fans? Because he hasn't finished his three years. You know, we said that if this guy is going to take time, well, in 18 months, it's getting, it's not good at the moment. Let him kind of complete the job. Now, I don't know if he's going to get to complete the job, but this is part of the free, this is part of the what happens on the journey to becoming great, right? Um, let me, let me, let me, let me actually do these super chats this time because now there's 40. <laughs> like, it's just uh, like last time I said it was 30, there's already 10 more. Vito Cardoni says, I'm tired of this injury narrative. Rodri was key, but they still had a style of play. So do Tottenham with lesser players. Um, Lamar says, Ten Hag, move, man. We need big manting, innit? Um, and um, the Manchester Commissioner says, Omar, if you're reading this, I need the pre-season tour fixtures released at once. We can't uh, arrange travel plans like this. No Wrexham, Madrid repeat. Uh, I can say to you guys that um, there is one more game to be confirmed in America, um, and it, but I have been told by the club that it's not going to be as crazy as it was last time and that kind of, you know, crossover and those kind of things. I have been told that, so hold tight. Uh, Michael says, uh, we are shocking. Ten, ten, ten Arg is not up to it. Um, his coaching is non-existent. No style of play after 18 months and 400 million spent on his capital um, players. Leo Loyo says, Fleck, what do you know about luck off? Yeah, shout out Sexual Boys. Um, David Brown says, Owen the Voyeur. Coming from oh, because Owen was in the background just waiting, just, just, just ready. Wow. Um, Keegan's, <laughs> Keegan says, Owen and Fleck, sometimes there is no logic to some of our reasoning with our rivals. Eww. Uh, leave us to our hating, okay? Fair enough. All right, I will. Red Brown says, I remember Owen being on Sky Sports a lot. <sighs> compromised, saying he's who, compromised. Who, uh, who here on the screen hasn't? Let's just point that out. Who hasn't been on Sky Sports? <laughs> Not <laughs> yes, you have, KG. Yes, uh, you have. <laughs> yes, you have. My series hasn't that is that come oh, out. All right. Okay. Well, and oh, you've yeah. been on Sky Sports News. You've been That's on Sky Sports News. I was on there for boxing purposes. 
Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. all right. So compromise yeah. then. Oh. T says, uh, "Flex, if our if our new manager in two years finished third with a trophy, then finished sixth, should he go?" Um, Ten Hag knows ball. Um, don't forget Ajax run in the Champions League timing. Um, Baraffin says, uh, Ten Hag out. Get Moyes for exactly ten months to sort us out. Um, then let's go all out and get Van Hal. Uh, we'll be set for the next ten years. Proven winners." Um, I can sense the irony in your voice. Uh, Keegan says, no progress, but we haven't had a team. Come on. Um, and CJK Digital says, big up, you guys. Give me too much jokes. Waiting for uh, United to win the Prem says, we saw, out, we saw our style against Wolves when we had a full 11. Oof. Yeah, and then look what happened in the second. Well, wow, <laughs> mate, did you, it's probably not the best. We saw it for the first 45 minutes. And I was saying to KG, even in that time, I was like, I hope we can play like this for the second half, let alone the rest of the season. And um, we didn't. We made hard work of it. And Cobby saved us. Biggie the Third says, um, whoever... an objective, though. Okay. Whoever the manager is next season uh, should get at least two years. So if Eric Ten Hag is to, is to be retained, he should get at least two uh, at least years. He doesn't deserve it, in my opinion. Um, and Shenanigan says, Pep inherited a team that won a Premier League one year previous and still made 18 permanent signings in 18 months before they could play his style. Ten Hag's barely been able to field even two signings this season. Um, Chalaboy Comments says, the fact that a 19-year-old kid, Mainu, a left-back, a right-back and centre-back Leecher and goalkeeper Onana are the best technical players in our team is damning. Dr. Evil says, KG, you're making a bad faith argument. Um, it's dishonest. Oh, my God. You're a liar. <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> Kishan. Kishan, Kishan says, even if you got get rid of the manager with the new structure, how patient will fans be with a new manager? That's what KG was just talking about. Will they be patient for three years, as Sir Jim Ratcliffe has said? Um, it will take, um, or fans will hound them out. Um, Sadiq says, Arteta has been at Arsenal since December 2019. We went through a tough time first two years, two seasons, but now in our second title challenge, can Eric Ten Hag do the same, is the question. Um, show says sick of the pathetic excuses and the constant deflection away from Eric Ten Hag as if he's a child. Um, then you hear bullshit uh, cliches with zero justification. Wow, strong from show. And uh, Lil Yo Yo says, Oh, Sky Sports, oh, Carve, oh, friend, oh, friend, friends, Sky Sports, friends. Guys, we've come to the end of the show. It, it, this wasn't supposed to be a Trinity, that is coming on Friday. Biggie the first says, Deserby works with the uh, with the lesser talent, it's expected. Um, yeah, we promise you this isn't this isn't the Trinity, but um KG called for well, KG called, called, yeah, called. Just, and just yeah. down the channel. And like, and like the friend I am, KG, when you call, I answer, you know. I know that it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, doesn't really doesn't really what? work the way around. Yeah. KG fun, still no, has man. not respond, responded to the no. voice note. I sent him. No, he hasn't responded <laughs> to mine <laughs> ever. He hasn't done it. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Unread oh, Saturday yeah. uh zero zero oh four. Flex. We spoke on the phone, fam. We, we called... KG, do you want Zidane? Josh said there, no Zidane talk. Do you want Zidane? It's a disgrace. Um, It's a good manager. Good manager. i like to see what happens with our manager at the moment, to be honest. I guarantee the Pete, the Pete, Really, the, I haven't got, I haven't got, the, I haven't got the impression that you do, KG, from the last uh, hour, hour and eight minutes. I think, I think, yeah, that if we got Zidane, yeah, and it mm. went bad, oh, I'm not behind as a I'm not behind. How, how long will it even, how long will it take for how long will it take Man United fans to want to down out? <laughs> how long go, go well, on. I, I tell you what, he loves Casemiro as well. He was big for him at Real Madrid. He's, <laughs> big, he's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's a big Casemiro fan. It's that one's not gonna happen. Zenadine's down. Um, I can't see him managing anyone that isn't Real Madrid or France. I feel oh, like yeah. that's and what he's doing. You know what they'll say, do you know what they'll say as well? Um, what do you call it? The players that when it starts getting bad for him here, I can even you look can help me in the chat of what they'll say. Um, it, the players, it was the players at Madrid. It was yeah. nothing to do with him. It was, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It just, he inherited a great situation. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, the, the discrediting will be fast. It's like Casemiro never knew how to spray a ball. He only he let Modric and them not do it. <laughs> uh, bro, I'm, the discrediting will be incredible. But yeah, yeah, no, it would, it would, it would. Uh, but I, I'm not, I'm not here for this Zidane thing. Not for me. It doesn't I, fit. It's, it's not, it's not the right fit. Right hey, it was all Ronaldo. <laughs> Yeah, hundred percent. He got carried. But we, and, it, and even the season when Ronaldo wasn't there, ben, Benzema was really good. Tell you now, Benzema was yeah, stupid, stupid. But Get listen, bring Benzema listen, in. listen. Uh, Michael, uh, Michael, Michael says that uh, Zidane would be our best player um, as our coach. That's true. 
<laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> Still now with the Preds. Can he play mid? Can he play mid? You know what I mean? 100%. Um, yeah, KG's going live on his channel straight after this, so go check that out. Um, yeah. Hear him talk about how much he wants Ten Hag to stay, and it doesn't matter anything how about oh, anything oh, like that. Oh, okay, that flex, that's not nice. That's nasty. That's nasty. That's I don't like it when he does that. Yeah, I don't like it when he does that. Yeah, that's like does that. <laughs> yeah. look at him. He can't help himself, can he? Jürgen Fleck. He is. And sometimes, and sometimes that's why you need that extra person there just to go. That's on, it. Flex. That's it. Because sometimes yeah. when he watched, we didn't get to the other topics because Flex couldn't get over it. What's that poll looking like, by the way? What did the oh say? yeah, oh yeah, that's interesting actually. Let's see. Um, are you still with Eric? Fifty-six percent say yes, um, and forty-four percent say no. Oh, there you go. Interesting. Yeah, so, I'm the only one. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, right on to tomorrow. Big game tomorrow. Um, KG, are you joining us? What's the crack? What are you? I will be flying home. He's flying, yeah. He's oh flying. yes, you are flying. Yes, okay, I will well, be in the air. Hopefully, you land to us still in the FA Cup. Um, <laughs> well, what time? What time do you actually get into the country? Because in terms of us winning, or, in terms know. of us winning or losing, that is actually quite important. I think what time KG is actually officially uh, guys, back in the UK. Because if he gets back in whilst we're playing, we've got a chance. It's not looking good. I'm so ridiculous. <laughs> When he doesn't know, I mean, he doesn't I'll know. Back to the country, I think, at like three o'clock or something. Flex, like he, he literally he three o'clock in the afternoon. Tom on Thursday. Oh, he's then he's back. Oh, in the on Thursday. So yeah, oh, no, it's it's okay. no, the game's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a wrap, guys. It's, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's not good. Good. He literally he left the British Isles and we lost at home to Fulham for the first time in twenty years. Mental, so... <laughs> mental. <laughs> and people want to get onto me about Judge. Hey, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, honestly, might have to take my passport because this is getting serious. It's ridiculous. Um, prediction for tomorrow, KG. Are we going to win? I just hope so, man. KG, are we going to win? Yes or no? I'm not sure. Prediction. Um, Harry Maguire out, Bruno where, and Varane where, doubtful. Where are we? Away at Forest, where we got moved to. Oh! Ericsson starting doing their thing when they said they don't look up for it. Yeah. I'm going to say Anthony. we're going to win. Though. We're going to win. Anthony Gonna win. Anthony Langer against Ling uh, Lindelof. Is Lindelof playing? Well, he? unless he puts Amrabat left back and changes it or something. Oh, shit. That's better. That's better. Yeah. yeah. Better. Exactly. Flex. Not can we just it. like flex? Can you just like shut down the channel? <laughs> yeah, we already know this. We already know that we got injuries. So what's the point talking about? Yeah, yeah exactly. To don't talk about. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> don't talk about Lindelof being shit at left back. We already know that. We saw it on Saturday. <laughs> We've already heard. Shut the yeah. channel down then. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. We know we got a game against Forest tomorrow. <laughs> don't do Let's predictions. Do... We know we're <laughs> playing. Shut the Let's channel not do... down. Let's not do the match view because we know it's on. So why bother? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Watching the match, yeah. I don't know the match is on. So let's not do it. All right. KG, what's the prediction? Um, 2 1 Man United. That's just a hard prediction. They're a truthful thing. I think we're going to lose 2 1. Yeah. <laughs> I predict we lose as well. All right. Cool. Anyway, we are out of here, guys. Big show. Thanks for everyone. On, in all seriousness, thank you for everyone uh, getting involved. Um, that's what it's about, isn't it? This is this is the community that we've built. We're out of here. <laughs> Take care. Well, Trinity Show as well coming Friday. KG, what's your plans on Friday? Can you? Um, oh, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. Can you record it later on? Can you? Um, can you do it live nice. at six? It's like, what can you do? He doesn't know. Uh, Look at him. He has no idea. Okay, KG, get back and get, get back and take your phone and put it to your ear and press flex and ring me, please. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All right, cool. Yeah.